When you are taking or considering pictures for matching a photo, be sure to follow these guidelines. Try to take the images from a corner of the building so you get a good view of both sides of the building. Try to get a clear picture of just the building without trees or other visible obstacles in the way. Also, any image you use must not be cropped. Keep this in mind if you want to use images from a book or the web, as they probably have been cropped and won't work well. Finally, when you do bring the image into SketchUp, try to line up the axis bars with elements on the building and not the ground plane. Often the line where the building meets the ground is not parallel to the rest of the building as the ground slopes. With your picture ready, let's bring it into SketchUp. Again, this is simply using the Import option from the File menu. Make sure that Use as New Matched Photo is selected and open the image. As you saw in the last video, adjust the axis bars to line up with the parallel elements in your image. Remember as well to place the axis origin at a corner or meaningful place in your image. Make sure to take advantage of zooming with the scroll wheel, as micro adjustments do make a big difference with getting the best results. With the adjustments made, right or context click and choose Done. Now let's start modeling over the image, remembering to work from the origin outward. For example, I would start by drawing this wall. And once it is created based on the axis origin, I can go in and add detail to it. However, if I started drawing a wall without any reference to the origin, even though it appears correct from this view, orbiting shows that it is not. Let's fast forward on this model such that we have more of it built. Of course, we are limited by not being able to see and work around the corners. In fact, you can insert additional images so that you can turn the corners and keep working. Start by orbiting the model so it roughly matches the next image you will bring in. In our example, this is the next photo we will use. So orbit the building such that the view is similar. Now import the image for photo matching. Set up the axis bars to match the perspective. This is a good opportunity to toggle the model off in the Match Photo dialog box so we can better see to adjust the axis bars. Then move the axis origin to the same location that we had established from the last photo. It was over here at this corner. Now toggle the model back on, and you can see the orientation is correct, but the size is not. Simply click and drag on red, green, or blue axes to size the building. A few adjustments and this looks pretty close. Keep in mind that you'll want to try and match the model as closely as possible to the image. So don't be frustrated that it doesn't line up absolutely perfectly for all aspects. Finish editing the match photo properties and you can begin modeling again using this new photo for reference. Scene tabs are created automatically for any new image you add, and you can cycle between them with ease. In this way, it is possible to combine many photo references to model from. We'll fast forward again to having more of the building modeled. Select several faces and then right or context click on one of the faces and choose Project Photo. Now orbit to get the full effect of what we've done. The actual photo image has been mapped onto the model. That is amazing enough for a few faces, but let's do the whole model. Click the Scene tab to get back to the photo view. Select the entire model, right or context click on a surface, and choose Project Photo from the Match Photo dialog box. Because the photo is projected straight to the model, there will be areas, particularly around corners, where the photo won't match correctly to the model. But overall, this is a quick way to add a lot of texture to the model. If you've loaded multiple images, make sure to view those sides as well and project the photos there. Also, when working with additional sides, 
Make sure to only select the faces you want to affect and then project the photo. A dialog box will appear if you're projecting a photo to a face that you already applied the photo to. As long as you've selected the correct faces, say yes to apply the correct photo. We've been talking about how to create models from photos, but now let's switch gears. What if you're creating a new model and you want to put it into the surrounding context? Match Photo will do just that, and you already know how to make it happen from what we've previously learned. Take this example of an existing SketchUp model, and we'd like to place it in the context of this photo. First, orbit within your model so the view matches the photo you want to use. Then import the image as we've done before. Now use the axis bars and align the perspective. It is helpful to toggle the model off for this step. Once the axis bars are lined up, toggle the model back on and click and drag the axis origin of the model to match the photo. Click and drag on one of the axes to scale the model to the photo, and that's it. Right or context click and choose Done to finish. Now you can view your new project properly placed into its real-world context.